time for another Township Tuesday video. This one is about the Board of Zoning Appeals, or BZA for short. I am Mike Arnold, the Zoning Administrator for Bethel Township. The BZA is made up of five volunteers appointed by the Board of Trustees to serve five-year overlapping terms. The Ohio Revised Code specifies the powers that the BZA has. The BZA has the power to decide appeals, make interpretations of the zoning resolution, grant requested variances, and approve conditional uses. One of the most common examples is an outbuilding that is larger than allowed. Our township zoning allows on a two acre lot up to two outbuildings with a combined square footage of 2,000 square feet. If you wish to build a barn that is greater than 2,000 square feet, you will need to apply for a variance in your case would be heard by the BZA. Another example would be your parcel is zoned A1, domestic agriculture. You want to build a storage building and start a business storing boats and RVs. In order to do this, you would need to apply for a conditional use permit, and that case would be heard by the BZA. You can check out all the permitted conditional uses for the different zoning classifications on our website at BethelTownship.org. A Board of Zoning Appeals is a final decision. The Township Trustees do not hear these cases or vote on them. The BZA meets the fourth Thursday of every month if they have a case. Meetings are held in the Township Meeting Room in Brant at 6.30 p.m. If there is not a case, they do not meet. It's an easy process to apply for a variance or conditional use on your property. The first step is to stop in the Township offices and meet with me, Mike Arnold. Once we review the zoning code and your parcel, I will give you the appropriate application form to fill out. After completion of the form and the application fee has been paid, I complete the paperwork and file the case. I notify the BZA members and send them the details of your application. If your application is complete before the first Thursday of the month, the case will be heard at the BZA meeting that month. Otherwise, the case will wait until the next month. When your case is heard by the BZA, you should be present and be able to answer any question that the BZA members or public has about your application. The BZA then votes on your case, a majority decision needed to approve the case. Thanks for watching our video. Join us next week for an overview about the Zoning Commission.